just finished watching um Fedor Fedor's fight against uh, Rampage Jackson Jackson um just a couple of hours ago and I've just got to say I, I was just a little bit disappointed um Rampage Jackson went into the fight and it just didn't look like he was serious um if you just look at his shape in between just before the fight actually started um he had this huge belly and he just didn't seem like he was serious if you look at Fedor Fedor's never had the most ripped physique but if you compare his physique compared to how he looked when he was in his prime, there's not that much of a difference there. Um, now, what happened was in the fight was um, Fedor just um, kept um, stalking him. Then eventually, when he found an opening, I think he landed a right hand and a left hook, and uh, he dropped um, he dropped uh, Rampage Jackson on his ass, and he just started um, wailing on him. But one thing I'm impressed with with Fedor is his speed and his explosive power. Uh, for someone who's 43 years old, um, he, his speed doesn't seem like it's actually left him. And for a fighter that's, uh, that was very explosive in his prime, it's quite impressive to see someone who's that this old but can still carry the power that he had when he was in his prime. I think the only thing that Fedor lacks at this point in time is um, he just doesn't have the chin that he used to have when he was in his prime. It doesn't mean he's not a great fighter still. Even him, Fedor at 50% is still a great fighter. Um because obviously he's such a legend, obviously in his prime he was such a monster, and obviously I think he went on a 16-17 fight unbeaten streak when he was in his prime, and he was considered one of the greatest heavyweights ever, but this was um, this was just a good, um, just a good uh, legacy fight to watch, um, obviously Rampage Jackson is nowhere near as serious as he once was, but it just shows like the difference in character between the two, obviously Fido is nowhere near as good as he once was, because one of the best things about Fedor was his resiliency the fact that he had such a great chin in his prime but I don't know it just it just doesn't feel right just before the fight Rampage Jackson he, he's known to be a fighter who trash talks his, his opponents I feel like he's a little bit too respectful towards Fedor it's almost like he acquiesced towards him he just accepted his fate and knew he was going to lose his fight against Fedor so going into the fight he just he, he showed a bit of aggression but he didn't seem like he, he was there to win the fight. He was just there to um, just make a payday and just move on. If you, even if you look at his shape before the fight, he didn't look like he was 100% serious. I'm not saying, taking anything away from Rampage Jackson. Back in his day, Rampage was a beast. But it just, it, it just seems like it might be time to retire for him. As for Fedor, um, I remember um, the Bellator president mentioning that he wants to fight in Russia. And he might fight in Japan as well before you finally cause it quits, but Fedor looks as good as ever, obviously the only thing that's lacking from Fedor is his uh, chin, he's not as, he's not as, um, he's just more chinny than he was in his prime, but he still give a few good fighters a good good run for their money, I believe, it'll be fun to see him fight um, a young hungry fighter just to, um, just to ride out his career, this might be a good time to actually retire, you know, if he, he beat Rampage Jackson, he's made a lot of money in his career, it might be time to just say, you know what, I've made a win in my career, I might as well just ride off. But no if he'd won the type of competitor he is, he's probably not going to stop. So um, I think we should enjoy him while we've still got the chance. Uh, that's my thoughts on this particular fight. Tell me what you think below and obviously just like and subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming your way. Peace out.